afternoon or good evening or whatever time of day it is for you. It is a sunny Sunday. It is. Which is amazing because it's been the first Sunday of the year. Shall we? Yeah, first Sunday of the year and we've got sunshine. We've actually just been to our first yoga class. We've actually got quite a lot to update you guys on. We started off with you quite well, haven't we? We've hit the ground running. We have. Yeah, good start to a Sunday, but we're gonna oh this, we moved this out of the way because it was literally right in there. Oh god. This is such a weird, um, this is such a strange air freshener by the way. It's when you go to the car wash, they always give me this. I'm like, rock chick vibes. Rock chick. We're going to do a bit of a sort out Sunday. We've got food to do, we're going to go on a walk. Yeah. Cheers to our first yoga class together. We thought we'd just chat to you a bit about kind of like our plans for the next couple months. Not our plans or goals, obviously you've seen that in a previous video, but just our plans for the next couple of months with like fitness and stuff because we don't really talk about it a lot on our channel and I feel like it is a part of our life, but it's also a part of our life that we kind of left to the wayside yeah, like back end of 2023. But I was like a little bit ill and it was like, I just didn't prioritise it and then it sort of like yeah. rolled into both of us not doing it. I feel like I ne definitely noticed a difference last year in like my mental well-being, not working out as much or like even just, I wasn't even going on walks some days. Was yeah, I? You, you, were, you were quite bad for it. Like the 10k steps I'd get steps back from work and, that was and I'd be thing. like, what have you done? Did you go for a walk at lunch? Like, no. No, I no, wouldn't go out not, and not being anywhere. I would just like work through it. I think when you work for yourself, it's so it is easy different. To do. Like when you when you're at work and you like right, this is my lunch hour. I don't get paid for my lunch hour, so it's like no. And you but, but you're like you kind of want to take your lunch hour and like yeah. you're like right, this is my opportunity to get outside. Or yeah. I like have a really easy tendency to just carry on working because I know the more that I work, the more money that I make, and that's like just how it is. We've decided to do a bit of a challenge, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, January yeah. and probably most of February. Well, for the first quarter of the year, yeah. basically. <laughs> it's called 75 Hard. We're keeping to the strict rules of 75 Hard, but, but it's your birthday, which falls like on like day 66. Yeah. So. And it's my day. It's <laughs> kind of like, yeah, it's Beckham's 30th. So we've sort of decided that we are going to do 75 Hard, but there's going to be a break in it in yeah. March your birthday it basically consists of not drinking alcohol sticking to a diet doing two lots of 45 minute exercise per day and drinking a certain amount of water and there's one last one which is read 10 pages of a non-fiction book which we've done every we've day done every day this week walking does count so we have been yeah. counting a gym session and a walk with Millie every day but we're making sure the walk's 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, obviously the walk's got to be 45 minutes. This 75 hard thing for us, like as hard as that sounds, I'm sure some of you guys would have seen it. Yeah. We're not gonna try and like get mega ridiculously fit no. and stick to like some stupid calorie deficit that we can't sustain no. and Definitely. burn ourselves out and make ourselves ill. That's not the idea. It's just like sometimes when you don't have a goal or like a challenge, it's really hard to stick to yeah. what you kind of had set out to do. So it's if you're like, structure, isn't it? yeah, exactly. Like if you're like, oh, I'm going to start going to the gym a bit more this year, but you don't have like a challenge or a yeah. goal, it's really hard to like get yourself in that headspace. Hello. She's been out in the garden, chilling sun. Also, we had a delivery. Da -da -da. We've jumped on the bandwagon. This is literally so not my style. We have actually only just done the free trial. We basically got one of these because they track all of your like um, stats, sleeping, that sort of thing. This little thing, basically, I don't know how it does it, but it literally tracks your sleep, calories, strain, yeah. recovery, like loads of stuff. God knows how, but it does. And like, you don't have to tell it. Anything. It's meant you to be like the like advanced. I'm, I'm asleep. It knows. It's weird. Yeah. It's meant to be like the most advanced wearable like fitness. Yeah. Tracker. So my restorative sleep is nineteen percent, and anything below thirty is low. Yeah. So Mine was like forty-seven. That's not great. Anyway. anyway. We'll, uh, we'll keep you updated over the next month on like how we go with these. Cause it was just like a bit of fun. Something else. Yeah. Just a free trial. We just thought. 
What yeah. a better time to do it than yeah. this. Right, we're gonna go out for a walk. Got me walking boots. You ready, Mouse? She's in a jumper. Another New Year's resolution, guys, is to use Joe's car more because <laughs> ever since we got my car. I'll probably look like a rat muppet. <laughs> Oh, I'm wearing sunglasses, it's bright outside. <laughs> yeah, so ever since we got my car, we just don't ever go in Joe's. And I think it's because mine has the heated seats and we are a sucker for those heated seats. We really should use Joe's car more because we're putting way too many miles on mine. Whoa. I feel like you look like some kind of instructor. Like a ski instructor. Yeah. <laughs> Did you reckon Joe's sexy? Yeah, they're lovely them. Get to the top then. What's he doing, Mills? <laughs> More than that, you know. Back from our walk and we are just about to try and do a bit of sorting out because after Christmas your house is just a bit of a mess isn't it? I don't know about anyone else but I just feel like the first week back to work you're trying to get all your work done and everything else just seems like overwhelming so our house is just a little bit untidy. Please excuse my appearance in this video. I decided after yoga that I just didn't want to get ready for the day and I thought it's a Sunday, hair slicked back, got no makeup on. It'll probably do me some good to not wear makeup so here we are. Oh my god look, you can't even see it properly in the camera. Camera never picks up how gorgeous the sky actually is. Such a nice view from this back window. This is my favourite. I'll be so sad when they build on that. They're not building over there though, they're, they're the woods. I think they're going to stay there. Not? No. What, like in front of the woods? Yeah. Oh, so lovely. down here is going to be a park, all the houses are going to be over there. Oh, because, yeah, imagine if they built a, like houses, that would kind of block our view, wouldn't it? 30 minutes, starting now. 30 minutes, Joe. House is going to be tidy, power, yeah? Power half Put an it hour. there, power half an hour. <laughs> that was oh, such oh. a bad. <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> Ow! That was Dang painful. It. That was painful. Remember this cupboard? It isn't looking quite as usual. Got a new protein works delivery yesterday and we've gone for the chocolate orange swell flavour protein which I'm super excited to try this week. I've never tried this one before but I feel like chocolate orange overnight oats would be so nice. If you guys are looking to increase your protein this year I've got a code for the protein works they're our favourite protein brand ever. Been using them for years. My code will get you the biggest discount that you can possibly get at the time on any of the products on there. So on the screen here in case you do want to get yourself some protein. We also get all of our supplements from there which you can see stacked up along here. Clear way is a really good way to get extra protein in because it's literally like some drinking squash. We've got a couple of those. But yeah, there's loads of stuff on there. It's a really good brand and I'll make sure I leave my link. That's looking better. Creating Works cover complete. If you have been on our channel since prior to Vlogmas, you guys know how much we like a red wine. This one's been open for a while though, and we're obviously not drinking like we told you earlier, so I'm afraid. Oh, this oh. feels weird. <laughs> Sad times. We got a new bin. This was our Christmas present to ourselves. Anybody that is into house stuff will appreciate 
this bin. Joseph and Joseph. I think that's the first Joseph and Joseph thing that we've got in this house. It's not something we would have normally splashed out on, but Joe actually got a voucher from work for Christmas. Why is it that bins are so expensive? Those of you that have been here forever will know that we had a load of bins here and we had to have like three separate bins. So we saw this one, we decided to put it here because it's just like not in the direct eye line when you walk in the kitchen, if that makes sense. It's full, so we need to empty it. But you've got the bin on the top, a little food bin inside so you don't have to have it separate. This has got like an odor thing in, in it. So gets rid of the odors. And then on the bottom, the best part is the recycling. Oh, I didn't realize you'd uh, emptied that, Joe. Three, two, one put my vision board up open on these shelves so that I can actually look at it every day because I feel like I wasn't really looking at it much I got this a couple of years ago um, and you like put the little cards in and I absolutely love it that is power half hour complete and we've got quite a lot of still got a fair bit of stuff to do because we need to make dinner and some of you may know we've been using this book which is the Good Bites book that got released at the beginning of the year and we've picked out a few recipes each week from here that we're going to make for our dinners and lunches and tonight we've got a chicken shawarma, naked, naked chicken shawarma bowl so I'm going to work through making that and then I think probably we've got some lunch peri peri chicken breast with like a feta salad and that'll be our lunch but I think Bethan will probably make that tomorrow we're running out of time today that walk was a lot longer than what we expected it to be here is the finished article. Wow. And that's the finished article. That looks unreal. What do you reckon? It, does it look looks good, exactly it? like the book as well. Yeah, well. Doesn't it? Putting out there one of my resolutions, which you will already know, is to cook more. And I have cooked this week, haven't you I? Have, yeah. But you asked if you could cook this. Yeah. Because the thing is, Joe loves cooking. Nice Sunday actually. Productive. Productive. No alcohol this weekend. We're just watching um, Kin on BBC iPlayer. Oh my god, it's so good, isn't it? It is good. Yeah. Our friends recommended it to us yesterday. We were out for dinner with them, and they were like, "Oh, it's really good." And we just like, I don't know why we never see like the BBC dramas, do we? We never go on. We never watch TV really, so we just don't ever. No, ever and like sometimes I feel like with. BBC stuff, you kind of have to get recommended it because otherwise, like Kin as a title. Yeah, do you know really what I mean? Like, I wouldn't click on it. It's literally K I N. Unless you've been recommended it, I just feel like you just don't yeah. go so to you, like watch it. So if you have any like recommendations for series to watch, yeah, let us know in the comments. Definitely let us know because we're always looking for stuff to watch. But yeah, this is a like drug drama. It's drug like family, related, it's like, like very, drug dealing family, but yeah, it's not really intense. about dealing drugs, is it? It's more about if you like crime, drugs, intense, murder, this is for you. Remember yesterday when you were the... crying yesterday? <laughs> that was literally that was oh my god, no, I can't, I could not watch. There are some parts that I'm like, no, I can't watch that. I had to hide under my jump. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is day two, the next day, Monday. We're both working, so I'm just gonna, I've just come down because I'm gonna make a protein shake. Clear way. If you haven't tried clear way, then try it because having a protein shake is like, especially when you have like a milky one, you feel like, oh, they're just a bit like meh, if you know what I mean. Whereas these clear ways are so much nicer to drink. It literally just tastes like you're drinking squash. Take vitamins. Take vitamins. Might as well do that while I'm down there. Uh, sour cherry and apple, and it is good. It literally tastes like a squash or like an isotonic drink. And we went to the gym this morning and it was busy. First Monday that we'd been at the gym, like since we rejoined, and it was so busy. Like we turned up and the car park was like pretty full. Chug this, got a couple of meetings. Bethan's just in a deep work mode. And yeah, I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, let's go. Lunch time. So if you've watched last week's video, you would know that we mentioned about sort of putting a bit more effort into like how we look on a like day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Hera kindly gifted us a couple of outfits, didn't they? They did. Did yoga yesterday? <laughs> or today? Did yoga? We were chatting the other day and we were like, I feel like one of the reasons that people don't get dressed anymore is because they're working from home. You just don't want to be uncomfortable. 
Like the last thing you want to do, or especially for me, is put on a dress and a blazer and a pair of tights, which is what I would have worn when I worked in an office, and then like sit around the house. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah. Backhandedly, you then just end up kind of wearing pajamas. You just reach like, for comfort over like, yeah, or like joggers. actually looking good. Yeah, exactly. But with this Hera stuff, I feel like we can actually wear it around the house and it's really comfy. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed, their stuff is like really good quality. One of my ins was buy things that are a bit higher quality and yeah. have a bit more of a capsule wardrobe. So I feel like these pieces are literally that. These are wide leg jeans and oh my God, I find it really hard to find wide leg jeans that are actually wide leg on me. Yeah. Like I have quite big thighs and like, I don't know, I just always find that I buy wide leg jeans and they're wide at the bottom, but they're like, they're like, yeah. What do you call it when they're like tight at the top, like bootleg? <laughs> they always look like, like bootleg. Yeah, yeah, but these are actually, actually wide leg. I wore them with like boots on a Christmas night out the other night because they actually yeah, they do. They're look good. fine with like heels, don't they? But then as well, you can just wear them with Yeah, you can like cas make them a bit casual. Yeah. And also got this hoodie, which I am literally obsessed with. Well, that's going to be dirty now. Really. You know when they say like hoodies that hoodie and hoodies that don't hoodie? Have you ever seen that? No. There's like, I think it was on TikTok, that's probably why I've not seen it. But this girl did this video and she was like, there's hoodies that hoodie and there's hoodies that don't. And this is a hoodie that hoodies. It's like double lines. Yeah, so it's like it sits actually, nice. Yeah, so cozy. So this is my outfit, Hera Varsity. It goes with your eyes. Goes with my eyes? Yeah, it does. Because you've got blue eyes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and these are the utility tech They're really pants. nice. And they're like, they're kind of like stretchy. A couple of pockets. And then they've got some Hera detailing on the side, on the, the zip metal. pocket. And then, and also I noticed yesterday, they're like, you know usually you have like zips up the sides. These have got zips at the back. Oh yeah. They look so go. comfy. They are well comfy actually. And they're like a really good fit on you, aren't they? Yeah. Nice. I'm happy with these. These are the, me I've got the medium and they're elasticated waist as well. So if you're worried about waist size on this sort of thing, because it's not, not usually stretchy, then these are perfect because they're elastic. Thank you to her for sending us some yeah. new Thank outfits you. and if you guys want to check out her out we'll link in the description for you i feel like it pays off to spend a little bit more money on like stuff like jeans t-shirts hoodies yeah, that you're just going to wear all year but anyway we're going to go on a, a walk now i think for lunch let's do it well that was a cold walk it's actually like trying to snow it was like sleet or like really light snow um, but yeah, it's definitely getting colder. I went out in a gile. I don't think they're really for this this weather type. My arms are a bit cold and it's like the wind was so cold. Good job you had your hair hoodie on the way. I know, I wore it up like that. <laughs> I literally walked around like this. I look like a right yob. I think it's time for a cup of tea. Joe's on a meeting now, so I'm going to be a good girlfriend take him up a cup of tea. Apparently he said that I used to be really bad at making cups of tea when he first met me. <laughs> it's honestly because I just didn't drink it but apparently I'm a bit better now so clearly I'm going up in the uh, housewife tea world. We've actually had Bethan's desk delivered today. Yay! That needs to be put up. Finally! When are we going to get a chance to put that up? I'm gonna have to say that upstairs later. Yeah. It is big. I didn't expect it to come in two boxes. It looks like that. It's like a corner, sort of like cabinet desk thing. Yeah, it's um, like a hideaway desk. Yeah, so it looks just like a storage unit, but then the door flaps down and it's got a desk. Go and have some food. Yeah. We're gonna bring this vlog to an end. <laughs> the first vlog. <laughs> the first vlog of the Hello. year. And we hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give the video a like. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks guys. Bye. Peace. <laughs>